What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to today. Shout out my girl, So Real T, man. Go show her some love. The link to her original video will be at the top of the description, man. Go click that. Go show her some love, man. Let's see exactly what she's talking about in this video. It should be spicy. Let's see what's going on. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell it. Uncle Joey still a whole. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. Jazz and Tay was spotted at the same event <clears> yesterday, <throat> but they did not attend together, nor did they leave together. Jazz was sitting on the opposite side of Tay, and they both were with some. Someone did inform Crystal on Twitter, mm. and she was upset. She then posted this. Oh, y'all bitches sweet. What the fuck? <laughs> Can't treat me like them lame. She was also posted on the blogs today, and this was her response. To me, it seems like Jazz and Crystal may be having relationship problems. Per usual. Crystal did just go to Miami with her... To me, Crystal is the relationship problem. ...friends, and she's been showing her ass. To me, it seems like she's trying to get Jazz upset. Or just get her attention. Jazz did also attend Funny Mike's Big Kid Prom. Uh -huh. And stated that she needed to go to the club because she needed some ass. She did. These are all allegations. Nothing was confirmed about right, Jazz right. and Crystal actually being broken up. But they do seem a little they definitely been apart. distant. But then again, they could just be wanting to spend time <clears throat> apart because they're always together. There's nothing. Nah, some shit going on, bro. Something going on. Wrong with spending time with your friends and giving your partner a break just so you guys can miss each other. Mm -hmm. But who really knows? Let's get into Lindasia. Lindasia and Snoop has been booed up tonight. Linda I was blowing me up about this. Did you see she was Snoop? She was, who the fuck is Snoop, bro? <laughs> who is Snoop? I so I ain't even know what the hell was going on. Like, wow, whoa! All of y'all was just like, oh my gosh, they just drunk, they just drunk, and she's with Snoop, you know. So, um, yeah, I guess this is it right here. Asia did go live, and Snoop was touching all over. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Has been booed up tonight. Lindasia did go live and Snoop was touching all over her. What the fuck is going on here, y'all? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Later on that day, Snoop went live and was dancing. Are you fingering her butt, bro? Like, <laughs> what? What in all actuality is going Snoop on here, y'all? Has been booed up. Tonight. What is going on, when fam? Deja did go live, and Snoop <laughs> was touching all over her. Later on that day, she Snoop is putting her thumb in her butt, y'all. Do y'all see this? Snoop went live and was wow. dancing and hugged up with Lindasia at their friend's birthday party. <laughs> hey, man. Deja, live your motherfucking best life, girl. You know what I'm saying? Live it up. Put some miles on the car. You know, the car is new, right? So, put some miles on that bitch. Have a little fun, right? The car is there for you to drive it. Go drive the bitch, right? Let your hair down. Let it blow in the wind and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Deja's living her best life. <laughs> 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 oh boy. This shit funny as hell. Deja's on Pluto somewhere. She ain't even in, you know, the realm of existence right now. Baby, 
Got business in the front and party in the back, baby. She handcuffing, huh? Deja, you handcuffing? She handcuffing, y'all. You know, you know how a bitch like you meet somebody at the club and they want to handcuff you all night type shit all over you all night. Like you can't even spread your love out into the club because the motherfucker want to be hugged up on you all night. Yo, she lit with the plate in her hand, my nigga. Give me something though. What you got? A chicken wing? I know you got something on that plate for me. Okay. I feel like I'm at the party too in this bitch. Where we at? Everybody grubbing. Everybody grubbing. How you gonna say follow her and don't give us her app? Deja, everybody bae, huh? Pay close attention. Jazz and Crystal are both at the party. And it was segregated as well. They are on two different sides of the party. They don't seem like they're interacting with each other at all. Mm -hmm. They may just be a little upset at each other, but we all know Jazz can't let go of Crystal. <laughs> to me, it seems like Jazz is acting out as well. She's singing mm -hmm. a lot of songs mm -hmm. that has to do with being fuck bitch free. Yeah. Y'all need another shot. Y'all might as well just fucking make up at this point, right? Because the way y'all going back and forth with the shade is just stupid as fuck. Y'all obviously still care. to me that Lindasia and Snoop are at the same party as as Crystal. You guys know when Lindasia and Ray broke up, Crystal and Lindasia weren't really on the best of terms either, but they are both at the party right next to each other and don't seem like they're still beefing. To right, me. right. Or maybe it's just a party and they don't want to ruin their friends night. No. I don't think they got any beef because Crystal and Deja are the types to where if they had beef, party or not, friends or not, they fucking some shit up. That's just what I see, right? So I don't think they have a problem. <laughs> It was 
so crazy that Snoop was showing everyone in the party. She yeah. was all in their face. Yeah. Like, that is so tacky to me. <laughs> my whole thing is, I don't mind you recording me, but don't put your phone all in my face. All like, in the face. Just walking around, putting her phone all in people's face. Like, that's crazy. I guess that's... But the thing was, man, ain't nobody have a problem with it because they influencers, so they used to that shit, right? That's that everyday type of thing so i really don't think they care it's an influencer lifestyle mm -hmm. i'm not sure but that it is. shit will be annoying yeah that's just what it is surprises hallie with a surprise birthday trip um gonna go to disney world he look like he getting ready for nascar too have a cool little time and i'm gonna go to my hometown jamaica i didn't even know i was jamaican did you i, I didn't, didn't know. even know that about me I did not know that. Hey, man. Shout out DDG and Hallie as well, man. They they definitely doing their thing. And like I said, their whole little drama, I believe, was just reviews. Honestly. Even the Ruby Rose entrance, I feel like all of that was staged. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. I love you guys so much. It does seem like DDG got him one, you know? It seemed like over the years, we have seen DDG fall out with different bitches. And they all seem to be the toxic ones in a relationship right so now it seems like the roles have switched but i really think ddg does treat hallie right i'm not there so i don't know but you know like i said i feel like all of that shit that happened was fake news all for views knowing you know little mermaid coming out and then ddg with his shit you know he had a single that dropped and he actually spoke about the shit in the single so all of this shit be just for views guys you have to understand that you have to understand that at the end of the day this is their job all right this is the business. This is the business. So just like you go to your nine to five and you do whatever the job requires, that's exactly what they're doing, right? And the job requires for you sometimes to do some fake ass shit, right? To stay relevant. But anyway, guys, I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Today ain't your mama, but today Uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.